It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the Arizona Cardinals, next on Madden Football. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. Russell Wilson leads out the Seattle Seahawks offense. The veteran Wilson, a third round pick back in 2012. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills. The ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to absolute win usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. Wilson going to come out throwing. And this one nearly picked off. Well, it's surprising to see the caliber a little bit get away it does, and it's second down. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass, followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathed a sigh of relief on that sideline. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Now it's Wilson. They'll set up the screen to Lynch. It's a gain of I mean, a punt here on their opening drive. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. 47-yard punt, a return of four. And the Cards will take over, first and ten. So out comes offense to take over for the first time. And a glance here at the vet. He's got a lot of years under his belt in the National Football League. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you can alert back there. Snap, a truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Here's Mitchell now to kick off the drive. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. From the 33, here's second down and seven. Now Warner. Eight to Fitzgerald. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 
19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. That next teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't it? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Now a first down run, it's going nowhere. He's gonna be dropped backfield, a loss of two. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. And his throw is incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Warner. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push-off. So since that last play got nothing, they'll go ahead and decline the penalty, and that forces a fourth down situation. And now out is the Cardinal field goal team here. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope that good things are in store here today for them. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit I jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. <laughs> just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'm trying to do better here. <laughs> and he'll get this just across the 25 yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down and six now from the 26. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Defensively going forward, they're going to have to watch out for him on plays just like that. It's a drag route across the field, and they're trying to free him up and let him run after the catch. That won't be the last time we see that play, and it works there to pick up a first down. No gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. To throw is Wilson. Got his man complete over the 
the middle. That's Carlson. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. From midfield now, here's Wilson. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. What good hands there defensively. at second down. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. They go play action now. Wilson. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. That's the NFL vet, Calais Campbell, coming in and dragging him down. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. To throw, Warner. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They'll try the middle with Anderson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Here's Warner. It's complete. It's Fitzgerald. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. On fourth down to kick it away. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10, just shy of the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson, and his throw is going to be incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing. 
because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. Just a pick up a three, but that is indeed enough. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. They go up the middle with Lynch. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Well executed there on second down, so do you go back to the air on third? Well, that's a possibility, but now you've opened up things on the ball in long distance situation. You might come back again because I doubt they believe you'll do it a second time. There's Wilson to throw. Open, but he missed him and it's incomplete as a defensive back you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about and you can read the receiver's eyes you can read his hands and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away and he gets it away a directional kick going toward the sideline and this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch and it's second down. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football, all right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Order to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And what did we talk with them about prior to the game? Their ability to move the chains, pick up first downs. So far, 0 for 3 on third down. If that continues, they'll have little chance of winning this one. Now Andy Lee will come on to punt this one away. check up that kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively the crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts they want some big plays they want to see some offense they want to see somebody break away whether it's through the air or on the ground now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides each head coach can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy and the drive starts with a completion, left side. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Now second and seven from the 23. And they'll give to Lynch out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. 
He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. Well, I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This is brought in at the 21. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Warner. His throw incomplete. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. The offense on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 11. Out of the gun, here's Warner. And that is incomplete. Here's Andy Lee now, as he's on to punt for Arizona. Now it's Lockett. A 48-yard punt, seven on the return. And they will take over first and 10. As Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Now if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 26. Off the bootleg, Wilson. Throw left side, going to be caught by Largent. Here's second and three. Now Wilson. He finds Lynch, it's complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. 
But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Muck that down for a win in the defense's column. On third down, Wilson. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up fourth. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. It'll be Warner on first down. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. To throw on second down, Warner. Side, Fitzgerald and mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. 22 yards there, a first down. Warner from the gun. On the right side, caught by Green. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. On second down, here's Mitchell. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Looking to throw. Warner. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to four. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Here's Andy Lee now. He's been terrific so far. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They start the drive with Lynch. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Now second and five. Toss play to Lynch. And down he'll go at the 25. Two straight runs of five yards, first and 10. Any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully, that means they win the battle on the edges. That means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. 
They got it done there for a very nice game. First down, the run with Lynch. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. From the shotgun, Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Alexander. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now Wilson. This caught by Carlson. He's across midfield. And he'll take this down to the 40-yard line. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Back to the ground, Lynch. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll bring up second down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. This offense so far on third down, they've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and four. Wilson. And they find the open man. That's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And the deliver there is that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set him up with a first and goal. They'll run with Lynch. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to troop a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They try again with Lynch. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. Brandon, now we find out what their definition of commitment is. They've run it on the first two plays. Do they come back and do it again? They're that much closer to getting into the end zone. Yeah, inching closer and really knocking on the door now. On third and goal, Wilson. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. From three yards out. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Point after try, forthcoming. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. 
That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with a slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets them to second and four. Now Warner. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Warner. That is caught. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Now a first down throw, Warner. Pressure comes, he's taken down by the Seahawk defense. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. To throw, Warner. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Anderson. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. We got to be big time now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You ready to roll? Third and 12. Here's Warner. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far. Yeah, I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. First and 10, Warner, short throw to Smith. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. They'll look to throw again. 
Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Back to throw again. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. So they get the three. It was fourth and one, and I think you were doing what I was doing. I was looking down at the sideline. I'm not sure the offensive unit wanted the three. They wanted to go for it. But when have we ever seen a unit that didn't want to go for it in that situation, That's true. right? Sometimes it's just way more important to have the points on the board than to worry about any type of a gamble. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, then we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been all you could hope for as an NFL fan. Just a one-point game here at halftime. This has been as much fun as you could hope for with both these teams in it to win it. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It'll be the Cardinals who get the ball first. They trail here as we resume action in the third quarter. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. The third quarter starts with a run from Anderson. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Order to throw. 
And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. He was waving his arms, won the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 41-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Getting the call is Anderson running left. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They run over center with Mitchell. Dances by him. And another juke. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better and maybe they're starting to make some headway. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. On second down, Warner. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Now Warner. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Cardinals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Out of the gun, here's Warner. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. A toss left side for Mitchell. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Back to throw. Warner. Touchdown, Cardinals! A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range. 
but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or no? It, 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 it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. The Cardinals set now to kick this one away, and off we go. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Now it's Wilson. There's the tight end, Carlson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 46. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. He finds his man, complete. That's Carlson. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. An inside run with Lynch. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. 78 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. They'll run for it with Lynch. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Hard to argue with that being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone. Couldn't agree more, partner, prior to that drive. They sputtered a little bit, but it looks like they found the formula. I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops. Wilson going to throw for it, and he's got it. The try for two is successful, and it pushes the lead up to a field goal. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you.
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. So out now come the Cardinals. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Play action. It's Warner. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And a six-yard game gets him right around the 43. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Mitchell now off the option. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. That good for 19 and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. To throw on second down, Warner. Fitzgerald's got it right side. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 23. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. First down, here's Mitchell. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. They work now on second and nine. Looking to throw, Warner. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Back to throw. Warner. And this is going to be incomplete. 
just what Seattle was hoping for. The coverage holds, and now fourth down. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. And his kick is indeed good, and that will tie the score at 15-all. So it's another field goal, his third of the game. Maybe not exactly what you're looking for, but does bring them level now. I like how you put that in there, that brings them level, right? Because if you're talking about kicking, bringing that soccer analogy in, I love that one. I love that one a lot. You don't want to go for it on fourth down and come away with nothing, right? Go ahead and kick the ball. Make sure you get some points. Even if it's a safe call, I think it's the right call. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And it'll be a touchback as Tyler Lockett says, I'm not going to return this one. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen. They see the blocks happen. They feel really good about their vision. And then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to boot. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now a dump off here complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of 7. Past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. To throw is Wilson. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake, third down. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to it? Maybe his rhythm was confused. just off. He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. He has just not had his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Here's Wilson to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else for the football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Wilson will throw again. And that will be incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. 
Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Phoenix, Arizona is the spot. Glad to have you along for the ride. Third quarter action and a second and ten upcoming. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time as we have now reached the end of the third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Third down and ten. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Here's Andy Lee now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. As Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. So nothing doing there. And it's taken down. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 98 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Now that's absolutely terrific technique right there by the corner. Exhibit A. Zone coverage, knew where his man was in relation to the football at all times, and made a nice play. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Here's Wilson. This one into the hands of Largent. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. They'll run it. Here's Lynch. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They run again on first down Lynch. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 43, here's a second and eight. Throwing is Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. On third down, Wilson. And we'll find the open man. 
complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 25-yard line. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. Now Wilson on first down. This caught by Carlson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. They'll try the middle with Lynch. And here he'll get it down to the seven. 117 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I don't think anyone thought we'd see a run facing second in that long, and that element of surprise, I think, helped make that play so successful. Nice effort on that carry, and it took what seemed like second and impossible, now has him within throwing range of a first down. Wilson. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter time. And his kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there, a big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. On first and ten, Warner. And his throw's going to be incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Warner to throw. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Warner. That is caught. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. 
Now a first down throw, Warner. That is incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came off of a momentum play. Big time gain on the previous snap. Came right back and threw one deep, hoping to catch them on their heels. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Warner from the gun. Looking for Hopkins, and he's got him on the crossing route. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 40. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing lane. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. It'll be Warner on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Fitzgerald. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you can just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. An option give now to Mitchell. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 59 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. On second down, Warner. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays, fire another one into the end zone. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So pass interference, the call there, always, obviously, Charles, such a subjective call. You agree with the penalty? Well, from where we're standing right now, I think the officials are tightening things up here in the second half. Maybe a defender gets away with that in the first, but this time the flag comes out. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. From a yard out. And the Cardinals put together a fourth-quarter drive to take the lead. This has definitely been a back-and-forth affair, and now they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and they gave up the field goal on that last drive, as we remember, but it felt like their offense told them, don't worry about it, we've got your backs. We'll come back with a touchdown of our own, and they did. Extra point attempt here still to come. And that will make this a four-point game. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it winds up in a touchdown for Arizona. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. 
And it'll be a touchback as Tyler Lockett says, I'm not going to return this one. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Wilson's throw caught here by Metcalf. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That'll give him eight that time. And it'll be second in a couple. Lynch hit the middle. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Wilson now to throw on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Can I go with a, try go with a quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Now it's Wilson. Got his man on the out route. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. Here's Wilson. His throw incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. On third down, they go Lynch. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down by a good couple of yards as they get three there on fourth and inches. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. On first and ten, it's Wilson. A quick throw there is incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't live with these short gains that take time off the clock. You know who loves it, this defense. Work 
to do here with a crowd at fever pitch. Third and nine. Throwing now is Wilson. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 20-yard line. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Here's Wilson. There's the tight end, Carlson. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Oh, I know it goes against the grain here. It totally goes against it, but you've got to drop the ball in that situation. He makes a catch, but he loses yards and doesn't get out of bounds. Here comes second down. Now Wilson. Oh, he'll work that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw is made. Where's the catch? Got a catch in that spot. Wilson to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Alexander. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Wow, oh, that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Down to a knee, here as the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Cardinals as we say so long from Glendale.